Hello everyone. I'm excited about this next video because I did a little spending. I went on the limb and I bought myself, as a bit of a, say, retirement gift, some Let's Resin products. So stay with me. I'm going to show you what uh, one of the new Let's Resin products are. And I'll show you what I purchased. And let's just get on with the video. I'll be right back. Hello everyone, this is Billy. As I just said prior, I went on a spending spree. I went on a Let's Resin spending free spree uh, because I'd been looking at some products and I thought, why not? I'm just going to treat myself. So I did. Let me show you, first of all, pardon the wrinkles in the box. First of all, I ordered the cute little dragons. There's a set of three and they're speak no evil, hear no evil, and see no evil. And I want to get going on those one of these days soon because I hope to get started on some dragons because I have dragon walls and I don't think I've made a dragon yet except for this last week uh, doing the little dragons and the eggs. So what else I did I get? Now I have Let's Resin's Chameleon Powders but I went ahead and I got the sh Color Shift 18 colors. Pretty little colors in here. Uh, blue violet, sky blue, oh my goodness, gold, sienna, chartreuse, oh my goodness, aqua, medium orchid. We might use some of these today. Peach puff. I'm really anxious, but now I have quite a few chameleon powders, so I'm excited about that. That's a lovely little set of 18. Then, since I have my Let's Resin lamp, that magnificent lamp that uh, they did send me, uh, what was it, a month or so ago? The double-sided lamp, I love it, I love it. So since I have that, I'm going on a UV resin spree. So I went ahead and I got the UV resin kit with the 12 colors. And we're going to be using some of those colors today. I was anxious to get these because the UV resin colored resin that I have was from Timu and I think I showed you parts of those before. They're very pale. Um, there's several colors in here that I want to use today. So we'll be working with those. And then this is new. Um, this is really awesome and I'm going to make this for myself. Don't mean to be greedy, but I'm going to make this for myself because I really need it. I'll show you afterwards a little picture of everything that's to the right of me on my desk and it's just thrown there and I grab and throw and you know things that I use all the time but I need a place that's a little more organized so this is what I ordered now this is a three tray with a metal stand three trays let me just get the paperwork and I'll show you look at this the metal tray holds these three, or the metal stand holds these three trays. It goes eight and an eighth up height, uh, 12 by two long, 11 inches wide. Our trays are um, 12 and a quarter by 5.9. The inside is 5.1, 11.6 inches. So the trays I've got right here, they're, they're rather thin that's okay I just need to have things on my desk where I can just grab and set back especially on this bottom one where you have your you know pens and pencils and scissors and all that good stuff but it's called the three T tier serving tray mold set and I did notice on their website that some people had asked if they were going to sell the metal stand separately and I would think they will. You know, I didn't see them doing that yet. But I, I was thinking if they're going to sell these beautiful trays, that uh, they would also sell the stand. But here they are. Now that's the bottom. 
well that's actually at the top but flipping it over to the bottom we'll be pouring in this side and it's uh, rather shallow I mean I'm thinking the lip probably goes up to three quarters of an inch but as far as the depth of the mold itself it's not a thick not a thick pour at all so we have three of these that's exciting and then down here are the parts to the stand and we won't worry about that till the trays are poured and we're ready to put it together so my plan my plan is because if you've seen my craft room I'm into the roses you know I love my roses and I thought I was to take the trays and grab some temporary tattoos now these are almost the same size uh, this one's a little darker than the others but I was thinking if I could put a temporary tattoo on the inside of each tray and we will color them with UV resin before we pour so that's what I'm going to think about doing right now I'm going to cut around all of these as close as I can we're going to place them on each tray as they go right side down and then we'll color from the back so I have my double-sided lamp it's behind me because I don't have enough extension cords and power cords in this room so it's behind me and I will just have to um, use it one color at a time as we go along so I have a little container here little sponge got a little bit of water to the side and let me bring you down just a little bit and we'll see if I can't get started on trying to place these I think that will work Okay, Whew, I have to take my shirt off. It's plenty warm in here today, although it's cold outside. The wind is wind is blowing, and it's not that warm out. So if I'm set up here, I think you can see me. Let's just start with one at a time. And you know you have your protective sheet on here. So I'm going to leave that and just cut as close to the pattern as I can that way I think it helps you with your placement so you know where you're gonna it gives you the spacing I guess I would say as to how much room you have and uh, where the tattoo actually starts and ends so I thought yes each tray a little rows on each one would be pretty or I could have just done different pours with different colors of resin and um, to be honest I'm not real versed on on that you know doing the dragon pattern and the, I've done blooms but I wanted I wanted something more visual on these trays so I'm excited about that. Let me go ahead and cut these out. Those two are pretty, but we won't need those. You could do anything with these. You could do stickers or just various colors. Anything you want to do. Um, embellishments on the inside. I thought about beads around the outside would be very pretty because I like that English look or yeah what is it called anyway I like beads and lace and doilies and old England style things Oop. there we go okay I'll go ahead and get the first one down and then I'll probably pause the camera because it's my phone and it sucks up my battery really quickly if I leave it on and I run out of memory. I still don't have the new camera set up. So I'm going to stand up and just sort of eyeball this where I might want to have it. And uh, these grids will help. I think they'll help me in trying to center these. 
the tricky part is going to be actually painting them while they're in the tray. Just want to eyeball that a little bit. I still have the protective sheet on there. Come over just a little bit here. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, since that's where I want it, excuse me. Okay, I'm sorry, I probably had to cut some of that out of the video. But now, where I believe I have it, where I want it. I'm going to lift up the back side, if I can, get this protective covering off. If I can grab it, where are you? I know these are pretty delicate. I don't want to distort the picture at all. I want to get that protective sheet off. Just back up a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to peel that back. And if I can, whoops, if I can, without buggering things up, I'm going to cut this off. Mold wants to hold on to it. Okay, I'll lay that down. And then come back to this side and grab the rest of it. There it is. It wants to stick. Oh, let me grab it. I don't want to scratch my mold now. It's brand new. Don't scratch your mold, Billy. There we go. You don't have to do it that way. Now, just press that down. I might not for the other two. Let's get a little water in this little dish here with my sponge. And we're just going to dampen that. It's just a little piece of kitchen sponge. I have a larger piece somewhere, but like I said, things are kind of thrown to the right of me. I'm just dampen that up. Now I got these tattoos, I believe off of Amazon. I will try to find them. And uh, Give you that link. Let me just let this sit here a minute. And I'm gonna shut my bedroom door or my my door. If you hear anything that doesn't sound very good in the background, it's my husband. He's been sick, so let me shut the door. Let that sit a moment. Don't think I'm not the doting wife because he's sick and I'm in here crafting. I'm just fortunate that whatever he has, I don't. And then we'll just peel. There it is. That's pretty rose. Oh, I got the tips off of those two came off, but maybe that's because I manhandled it. And I'm just going to take paper towel and just gently daub that a little bit. We'll have to make sure that's completely dry because resin and water do not mix. And if you find any bubbles, you can gently take a pin, and I have to dig one out, and just pop them. 
very gently. So I'm going to set this one aside, and I think it's pretty even. This it could have come down a little more that way. I'm going to put you on pause and go ahead and get the rest of these on here. Okay, this is the last one, the third one. I'm just daubing off the excess water. And I would love it if you would look up Poffle. Poffle's, oh, what is she? Poffle's, she does resin creations. She does this. I have seen her do this. I have taken this cue from her. She does very beautiful resin work. She goes outside of the box. Things are different. And uh, I will leave her link in my description box because that that lady is very, very creative. So if I had my screen pulled up, I could tell you the exact name of her. video channel. So, all right, I'm going to sit down a minute. Let's come a little closer. We might be able to. Are you going to get the top of my head? Whoops, hold on. Whoa, there we go. I still have this manual contraption here. So, I did get a, a little pan here. Let me move my little light over. And here I just have that. I'm going to see where I need to, if I must, just gently pop a few little bubbles. I don't see too many on this one. Sometimes you can't tell if that's a design or bubbles. Well, there's a little more, a few more than I thought. That might add to, if they're not too terribly big, that just might disappear. Or possibly add character to your piece. So, where do we start now? I've got all three. Look oh, how pretty they are. That one has a few bubbles. I'm trying to keep them flat over here to the side of me. Let's just take another quick, quick look. They're very delicate, these tattoos. There's a wrinkle there. Let's get a little, so I don't want to damage my mold either. So, there we are. With that step complete, let's find some colors. I think that's going to be very pretty, don't you? And of course, there's a cat hair. Annie is very pleased that you have commented about her and her little paw. Um, she's in here with me. She's looking out the window. She's on her on her um, pillow. But knowing that sweet girl, she'll be here to say hello before we know it. Okay. Now, in my wallpaper, I've got pinks. A little lavender, a little blue. The dark there was a darker pink and a lighter pink. A little bit of white. The background is kind of a off-white color. But let's let me move this. Let's see what we've got. I'm excited. All right, there's a peach. Let's look at that. Pink purple. Purple. I don't think we're gonna need much purple. I don't need yellow. Unless we do the middle, let's see, some of these might have some dogwoods mixed in with those roses, so maybe a little yellow for stamen, definitely not red. I don't know about white, because I'd like to have a white background, or an off-white with a shimmer. There's a little blue, green, I know there's two greens in here, I want to see, there's this one's late green, I want to see the different colored greens, caramel, that sounds pretty. Here's the pink and black. And they come with all these lids. So I'm gonna take a minute and get all these lids on and be right back with you and we'll look at these colors together, okay? 
Okay, I'm back. I'm going to put my little hospital mask on and a pair of gloves because we're working with resin. And I hope I don't sound too muffled. But let's see what these colors look like. Just got a little artist's paint deal here. You know, I've seen that mold, and I can't remember where. I guess I'll look on Amazon. The Painter's Palette resin mold. I think I'd like to have one of those, too. All right. Well, let's see what we have. We're not going to need black. Let's put that up. I'm curious to see what this caramel looks like. I guess I better put my glasses on, too. And if Annie comes in here... I'll make sure she's on her pillow, and I will crack that window for her. And I don't know if you shake this. Does it hurt to shake it? I don't know if you need to shake it. Oh, it's dirty. Kind of. I've never used it. You blow it. So I'm curious to see what that looks like. Caramel. Kind of has a pink tone to it. Caramel. Gosh, that's a pretty light pink. I might hold that out. What do we have here? Peach. I'm curious to see what this looks like. God, will you e resin come off of this little container? Ooh. All right, that's pink. A oh, peach. It's, it's pretty pink. Where's the other pink at? Red we don't need. We can look at it. Is it just me? Or should I have shook it? It looks pink too. Try it again. Well, I'm not going to chance it. Maybe it turns more red when you put it out of the, under the lamp. I have my little lamp here. I'm curious to see if that will turn red. Can't really tell. Okay, yellow. I'm sure yellow looks like yellow. Just gonna put them in the same thing. Okay, yes, that's a pretty yellow. We might need that. Pink purple. Whoa. Gosh, I tend to do that, unscrew them instead of popping the caps off. I could have I could have lost it all there. Pink purple. That looks more like a fuchsia. I don't think I want that one. Purple. Well, see, I did it again, Billy. Okay, that's definitely purple. Get that out. Blue. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's really blue. Keep that out. There's two greens. I'm curious about those. Let's see these others. Here's pink, pink. Whoops, gosh, Billy, stop. It's hard to tell the difference between that pink and the other. Peach. Maybe I'll put the peach up so I don't get confused, because here's the white. Let's put a little dot there. Okay, it's white. I'm wondering if I should get some mica powders out. Lake green. Shoot. Okay. 
lake green. That looks more like an aqua, doesn't it? Put that up. The other green is right here. There we go. They're very pretty. They're very pastel. Oh, I'm questioning things now. I like that blue. I think I might grab some mica powders rather than um, color shifts. I'm going to grab a few different micas that we might want to mix in with these. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I just grabbed some micas from Timu here. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe I should just mix my regular UV resin in with some of these colors. They're truer than what I actually was hoping the Let's Resin colored UVs might be. So the dark green and the light green. Cherry blossom, immediate violet. Most of the roses in my wallpaper would be these two colors. Then I grabbed a blue violet and a sea blue. So I've got some other cups here. We might just have to change my route and let's just color the UV resin with some micas. And I think if I do it that way, they might be a little more uh, substantial. And since they're not in a frame of any kind, uh, that that they won't run run as much so let's do that i think i will i'm going to put these to the side so they're handy in case we want to mix some colors up but i think i'm going to go with mica powders all right so let's start with the cherry blossom Now this is a clear hard tape and we'll just do a color at a time. Get a little resin in there. Thank goodness I have another bottle of this. And I think I'm going to use, uh, I've got a few small paint brushes, but I think I'm going to use some micro brushes. And of course I didn't grab anything to stir with. I always use the blunt end. I've got paper towels here. Okay. Let's try this. Cherry Blossom. That's very pink, isn't it? I have a little scoop. This is what I mean. Everything's just kind of thrown to the side here. I think if we do it this way, we won't get, whoops, chances of things running. If we had, if we were doing a bezel or something, it'd be probably a bit easier. So let's just go with this. Mix that in. All this reminds me of using my polyurethane and mica powders. Yeah, see, it's not as runny. This is our better bet for now, for this project anyway. Another napkin here. The napkins. Get that off. Let's see what happens. Get this first one. Look at that pretty rose. I do you see a bubble? A big bubble. I want to get rid of that one. There we go. Go away. Go away. And let's see if I can paint. I lost a bit of that tattoo there. I just have to fill it in with green. Those must be, well, they're not roses for sure, but 
breaking even. Just daub it on as close to the line as I would like. Just we're on the back side. And I can always flip it over and see if I've missed any areas. I'm just going to go outside the perimeter here. Right up to the lines. There's so many different things we could be doing with this. Could have used the uh, could have traced a pattern with the outline of pans. Like I said, we could have just mixed resin colors and poured, or we could. Um, what do I want to say? Did I say stickers already? Probably. could put that darker pink inside. Try to brush it. Let's go close to the line as I can get. So we could just do the tips with the light pink. It's all whatever you want to do. Am I recording? Yes, okay. Let me double check myself. Pull that out a little bit. That's very pretty. You know, I never cared for the color pink until my daughter was born. I was wide awake in the wee hours of the morning after she was born and the next day my girlfriend sent in a big bouquet of pink roses and I looked at those for the longest time. Heck, next thing you know I had a pink pair of Levi's back in the day. <laughs> I wore pink all the time. This is going to take me a while. Let's get this one done and then I'll just keep going. We won't make this a terribly long video because I'm going to add some minutes to it by the time I get the resin mixed and poured and all of that good stuff. I'm happy I've got those UV resins that are colored now. And I didn't want to put UV resin right directly on my mold. Because I've seen where people have done the water drop effect and it tends to mark their molds up a little bit. So I was hesitant about that. So this way you're not touching your mold. It wants to come in. Like all resin, it wants to join up in the middle. I imagine we just clean this up with a little bit of alcohol or just a cotton swab. I don't know what alcohol would do to these tattoos. So probably don't want to risk it. Right there. This will keep me busy through the evening, won't it? Okay, I'm going to set that way over here for now. Let's 
see if my lamp will reach. I pulled out of the extension as far as I could get it. Just give it one click here. Come on, I know you're on. Should be on. There we go. Just give that. Let's see. I guess I should see if it's sticky or not. Not sticky at all. Let's flip it. Just give it an example. Oh, can you see through that? I see where I missed a few places. But I think that looks really good. So I'm going to keep going and I'll come back to you when I have all three of these colored. I can see where I've missed some places. So that's a good thing that you can turn it over and double check. All right, till then, enjoy your evening. This will take me a bit and I'll love every minute of it. Okay, we'll see you in a little while. Thank you for watching so far. Well, hello everyone. I am back and I have spent, I'm thinking six, six hours or more uh, putting my UV resin onto these stencils. Look at that. It took me a while. Um, most of last night and then a little bit today, I'm ready to pour some resin, but it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm thinking, oh no, even though I just heated my resin up, I'm going to wait till morning to pour, but let me show you what has become of these. If you can see through the mold, how pretty those are going to be. So there's one with a dark, dark pink. I did lighter pink and purple. That's this one with the leaves. And then, speaking of leaves, I think it was this one. This turned out really pretty with both both pinks. But doing the leaves, I kept getting holes where my resin wouldn't hold. The resin wouldn't hold. I'm thinking, why isn't that resin holding there? Come to find out, it was going directly to the mold because the stencil had pieces cut out of it. So I had trouble with the green. The green took me a while, uh, quite, a, quite a few trips under the lamp. But I think they're going to be gorgeous. My, okay, my only concern is now, okay, Billy's overthinking it because, you know, my wallpaper's off-white with the pinks. Off-white to me in the tray would look dirty. So that's, that's no. So if I went white, I'm thinking, well, what if I get it dirty? Is it going to look dirty or will, will I be able to clean it? You know, the trays when I start putting stuff on and off and on and off while I scratch it. I don't know. I've been racking my brain on this for the last half hour. But anyway, I picked out three options here, or maybe we'll just mix them up. I went and got my beaver dust white. And I do have a discount code for beaver dust uh, pigment powders. I got a beautiful set. I want to say 24, but I think it was 20, 20 in the set. But I have a link with a discount code. I also have a Stoyo pink here. I also have a discount code for a Stoyo. A, a Stoyo. And this is a little bit of pink with a glitter in it. It's glittery. So I'm thinking if I did a, a, a soft white with a little bit of pink in it and add the, added the little bit of the uh, glitter pigment in, I might come out with a nice soft background color so when we go to mix the resin we'll play with that what I like about these molds I'll tell you what those were big stencils but let's resin tells you how much resin you need and this takes 9.8 ounces per tray so we're talking 29 ounces altogether so I'm going to whip up the 29 ounces tomorrow or 29 plus because I'm almost ready to go night night. But I just wanted to show you how far I came with these today. And uh, I think it's going to be exciting. Oh, I got an Annie here. Annie's in my chair. 
She wanted to say thank you for acknowledging her. She's enjoyed being in my videos, joining you all. So thank you so much, everyone. I will see you in the morning, and we'll get these poured, set, and finished. Okay? Have a good night, everyone. See you in a little bit. Bye. Hello, everyone. Let me show you where I'm at. I just mixed up 32 ounces of my Let's Resin Resin uh, Equal Parts 1 to 1. And the molds hold 9.8 each, according to Let's Resin. So that gives me 90, or excuse me, 29.4. I could go 30 and just could have went a 15 15 ounce ratio, but. I have a couple of moles I'd like to finish filling, so I went ahead and now we have uh, 32. So I've got both my resins in my, I call this the poop catcher pot. Um, my friend Linda laughs at me because she's a surgical tech and she told me that's not what it's called, but that's all I know about the medical field. Anyway, um, using my Let's Resin hand mixer, I love this mixer, I was sure to just go very slowly for five minutes to the bottom up and around in the same direction just so I could get most of the sides and since it was deep I just went down and did the same thing over and over again so um, I'm going to turn this on for a minute and let me show you what I do with my mixer I just have a little cup here with uh, isopropyl alcohol now I use 99% I get it off of Amazon and I just put that in a little cup, put my mixer in, give it a couple of swirls, and get, whoops, I put too much in that time. Oh, I charged the battery up. <laughs> That's what happened. I recharged it. Boy, it's got power today. Anyway, now that I've got alcohol, I just let that set till I'm ready to clean up. Just put that aside and let it set in the alcohol. You'll get a goopy, uh, bit of a mess at the bottom of that cup but it'll harden and you just peel it out so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to take and be sure to stir my sides in my side and bottom because I can still see little stringy parts you know that mixer just can't get to every little bit of this this uh, pot so we're just going to Give it a few more turns here. I love this resin. I mean, I, I warmed it up just a little bit this morning. Uh, so my room is a little chilly, but there's not too many bubbles at all. Look at that. It'll debubble itself. And once we get the micas in, we won't even see any. That's one thing about mica powders. They tend to just get rid of the bubbles quickly but I'm not going to just pour it in here let's get a little cup and I'm going to get a little cup and a little stick and let's get a bigger cup I save all these little deli cups or you can get them at the Dollar Tree real cheap so I'm just going to put a little resin in here can you see me let me come over here um, I should have saved more of the spout on this, but if I'm very careful, it'll go down there. I'm just going to put a little resin in there. Now I want to go darker than what I expect to have because we're going to put it in this deep bowl of resin. So let's just get that picked up this cleaned off and I'll set this aside I got a new little mat here from I think I got it from Timu I would love to have another big let's resin mat I did clean my old one but it's been used for what over two years now it doesn't look clean but it's clean anyway I'm in my back patio on a countertop, and this is never level. The three molds will not fit, they just won't fit, on my um, leveling board. So I'm going to have to prop a few of these up here. 
Ooh, look at this. This is beaver dust white. I need to make my order to beaver dust because I really like uh, what they have as far as a blue that looks like denim. And then they have that uh, red that's really beautiful red, mica powders. So check out their site. I'll have the link for them in the bottom in my descriptions and there will be a discount. So I said earlier I think that I didn't want to go completely white. Uh, but I want to mute it a little bit with some pinks. So let's see what we have there. Let's just get a small stick. Well, let's get the big one I started with. Let's get, get that mixed in. It's a pretty white. Oh, look at that. That's very pretty. I was thinking about using my, um, May Spring Dazzling Diamond in here, but this has such a nice shimmer to it. I think we we won't need it. So let's get most of this mixed up. Hope you're having a good day today. I kind of slept in a little bit, but I stayed up working on another project uh, in my craft room last night. I think I went to bed about 2 but I'm still the night owl. I think that has to do with the music. Oh, and my gig last weekend, my farewell gig was so wonderful. I had such a good time. Um, went back to our old stomping grounds when I was with Brian Ward many years ago before he got sick. God bless him, I miss that man. Anyway, I am now I'm going to say semi-retired because my bandmate said, you know, don't count on it. I thought, well, okay. That's all right, too. But I won't do it steady like I used to. Got some plans for the summer. I might have said in my earlier videos, I want to go to my hometown. My hometown is in Ontario, Canada. I haven't been there since, I'm six, since I was 16 years old. And... My Nana is buried there, and I just want to go. So that's on my bucket list, and we're going to try to plan that in um, late June or early July. Now, here's the pink. Now, this is pearlescent pigments from Astoyu. This is the lightest pink I had, which wasn't a bright pink, because I really don't want a bright, bright pink. Now remember, I'm going to go, I need to go darker than what's actually going to be. Let's give that one good scoop. See what happens. Astoyo has a beautiful set of micas too. I did that bowl with the bubbles with the, when I tried out the Astoyo mica powders for them. And oh my goodness, it looked beautiful until... I pulled up the resin to shape it a little too soon and the bubbles on the top rim started to sag. <laughs> oh, bummer. I like that color the way it is. So I think I'm going to add a little more, just make it a little darker. Oh, a lot more. One more scoop. And uh, we'll call that good. I'm going to really benefit from these shelves, so look in my description. I will have Let's Resins link, and there's a discount code there also. This, These trays with the stand are a brand new product, and I just jumped on the bandwagon and grabbed them. Grabbed them. Oh, that's pretty. All right, we might have to add more down the line to the big batch. I guess we'll see. Now to give it a little more age, or a little more depth, I'm just going to add, this is a Timu pink, I'm just going to add a skosh with this, I hope that's the right way to open it. Oh, am I wrong? Can't be wrong, or is it this way? Oh God, Billy, do it right. There we go, that's got a nice glitter to it. Just want a little bit to just darken it up a little. Ooh, that's sparkly. 
and then we'll put it in the big batch. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. This way, mixing up your mica separately, I'm sure a lot of you know that. It blends it better than just putting it in your bigger batch, and I'm bad about that. I sometimes forget. I like that. I do have to do some more of that, but let's see where we're where we go. My bubbles are surfacing. Maybe I'll give that a spritz. I don't know if I lost you just now or what happened. It's recording, but my camera shut off. I've got battery. I deleted a bunch, you know, videos to get some memory. So, oh goodness, I hope I didn't lose too much of this process. Anyway, I was going to say, I just take these wipes and throw them in my cup and save them. When I clean up, I can just use all those to, to clean out my containers. All right, now let's get set up here. Put this aside. Clean this up. Get my molds out. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. Okay. There's one. I do have a cover. Pardon me, I just shifted you. I'm going to have to go vertically with these. And, uh, I hope they're clean. I did my best to get all of these ready to go. Let me move my micas out of the way. Resin on everything. One more. Yes, I think I like the pink background. I'm going to be very happy with that. Okay. So, let's see. What is this? Oh, I think it'll be covered. I think it's part of the... Um, Stencil. Let's double check. Get a swab. Oh, I've moved half of my things to the other room. Let's go alcohol on that. Didn't mean to get it there. I don't know what that was. I'm going to block this up. Didn't intend it to go in there, but sometimes you're messy. That's all the fun of it, too, right? Being messy. Okay, we're still recording. Here we go. I'm going to go uh, a little bit at a time, make sure I get everything. Whoa. It is lighter than what, what it looks, isn't it? That's fine. It's not the best spout on there. But it's the biggest container I have for mixing. And it has never been used, guaranteed. Just sit. Okay, I found the problem. It shut off on me again. It's the trash. I had to empty the trash. It's usually set to, you know, empty every 30 days. But apparently, it still had quite a few of, quite a few uh, files in it. So hopefully, we're good to go. And actually, all I'm going to do is. Uh, pour these. Watch for bubbles. My husband has just whipped up a beautiful batch of asparagus. Oh, he does asparagus hunting here. When it comes up in the spring, you can just go on the roadsides and, oh, it's so wonderful when it's fresh like that, but he happened to have some frozen in the freezer, so we're having Asparagus, creamed asparagus on toast for brunch today. I can't wait. Okay, so I will let you go. Top these off. Oh, I'll show the other molds that I had ready for the leftover. Because um, we'll demold those too. What I have over here is I have a spice grinder. This is an eyelash. Oh something on that eyelash holder a earbud holder there's clear on one side already and then remember I poured these with the leftover bunny rabbit uh, flakes and flex with leftover resin so I'm just gonna back those up don't know what I'll do with them later but 
that's the plan. Okay, everyone. I will finish up. Oh, it's more white, isn't it? Top these off. See if I can use the rest in those molds. Watch for bubbles, especially under the lip. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. All right? Hugs. This light right there. I'm in my craft room. All right. Here we go. All three. Oh, pretty, pretty. I didn't fill it all the way because I don't think you have to. It's pretty deep, but I'm going to have to, uh, of course, sand the sides. Let's hope I don't have bubbles. I just don't want bubbles in the rim. And now, I should have looked up, I think it's Poffle went Miss Poffle. I don't know what her, her first name is, but now she said when you remove these, be very careful uh, when you remove whatever it is you put your tattoo on. Just to be careful, it's still a little bendy, that you don't pull the tattoo off when you demold. So she said do that very carefully. Looks like I'm in good shape. Oh, look at this. I think we've got it. I think we've got it good. Here we go. Ta-da! Look at that. Look at that tray. Isn't that something? Oh, I did good. No bubbles, no chips. I'm going to let that harden up. Oh, I, it's Well, you know what? It's a bit sticky. I'm going to do a top coat just on the inside of clear to seal that in because I still feel the stickiness of the tattoo. But didn't that turn out pretty? Oh, I love it. Let's go to the other one. Be very careful, Billy. They're still a little soft. I couldn't wait. I just could not wait any longer. This will sure be lovely on my desk. And it will hold a lot of things that I've just got thrown to the side. Let's loosen this up. Lovely mold. You can make so many. Oh, and there's three of them. You can make so many at a time. Do so many different things with these. Oh, I hope you like them. Let me see. Let's get a corner out. Oh, it's bendy. Not that bad. If we can get the corners out, then we can peel back slowly. I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's just a piece of resin. Okay, okay, okay. Now, gently. Gently take that off. I can see where it's coming up. The tattoo is still down. Come on, you. I don't want to put um, alcohol in this because I don't know what it, what kind of reaction it will have. Maybe I can get go from this side. I don't want to bend it out of shape. It's coming though. Oh, sticky. Yes, sticky. Definitely needs a top coat in there. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Come on. I've got to send this to Let's Resin and let them see what I've done. But I want it to be the first in line for this mold. It fascinated me. Nice size tray. Oh, that would be a beautiful candy dish or just look at that. Wow. Gorgeous. And once again, nice edges. Nice edges. Oh my gosh. If I move this pink, you can see 
how light that background is, but it is beautiful. Did a pretty good job. Pretty good job, Billy. Let's move this out of the way. One more. All right. I think the colors are going to match up nicely. The dark uh, purple, I was hoping it would be a little more pink. But that's okay. I'm not going to... I'm not complaining at all. Wow, 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 wow. I'll try to get a top layer on today so by tomorrow I can get some nice uh, photographs with it completed. Oh. So pretty. Oh, come on out of there. Don't go too bendy on me. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's, I bent that, didn't I? We'll get it back in shape now. Slowly pull. Wow. Wow. Nice mold. I can't say anything else about it. I just love it. I love this technique. I don't have that many more beautiful tattoos. Well, I've got tattoos, but they're rather small. Let me get this out. Come on, corner. Come on, corner. Don't fail me now. Here we go. Look at... Oh, my goodness. Got a little bit of blue in there. Let me line them up together so you can see how well they, they go together. I might have to raise you up a little. Hold on. Well, there's two. Move that light, it's glaring. And then we've got this one. Aren't those pretty? That's a beautiful set. Beautiful set. Okay. I think I've got a... Yes, yeah, a little... Get rid of that sticky. So, oh, what do we have here? Oh, a piece of resin. <laughs> All the edges are great. Great. I'm going to put those aside, let them set up out of the mold and let's see if we can't put this holder together now move these out of the way too I'm so thrilled about this oh this would look lovely in a bathroom in a kitchen you could put anything on there you could do fabric inside oh just it's never ending let's get these out now three of those whoop pardon that noise here's the base just paper off and paper everywhere there's the base. This, oh, I might have to look at the instructions. Forgot what this does. It must um, secure the frame somehow. So I'm gonna go like that. I'm not sure where that goes. Where do I put my paper. Do it this way. All right, Billy. There's one. This fits in there nicely. Let's get this other one in here. I 
I'm sure lets resin when this um, frame becomes quite popular I'm sure they will plan on selling these separately I'm gonna turn it over now I'm all thumbs now get that in there oh okay where's the other one didn't I have three where's it this one I had three of these. Can I not see what I'm doing? Oh, there it is. Jeez. I don't know if you can see that. This, how does this go? This must, I'm guessing, secure these together is what I'm thinking. Let's go this way. To hold that in place, I'm sure. What am I thinking? What am I thinking, Billy? I don't know. Where's my paperwork? Here it is. Okay. What's this little thing do? I see it. Yeah, it goes across in the back like I thought. But how? It's got to hold these. I'm sure of it. Okay, that's what the picture does. Take it into one side. Push it down the other. There you go. S secures that right in place. Oh, gosh. Then, look at this. Look at this. Which one do I want where? Did they just sit? in there like that. How beautiful. How beautiful is that? Let me take you off. I'm going to pause you, take the camera off, and we'll get a better look at it. I'll try to stay at this angle here, but look at that. Look at that tray. Isn't that something? It's hard to tell the three different levels, but that's big and beautiful. Oh, I love it. Okay, my mess to the side. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Look at this. This is my right side where I have everything rather thrown. So now I can put this on the corner of my desk and just grab as I need it. Give me more room. Oh, I won't hold you up, but this is so lovely. So very, very lovely. I will get some beautiful shots when the top coats are on and it is set. And I sure hope you like it. And I hope Let's Resin likes what I've done with this. I'm going to definitely send them to their send this to their blog so until i can finish it up take good care everyone have a wonderful day sending big hugs bye